Tactical Arbitrage released a new feature earlier this year called Always Be Scanning. I had mentioned in one of my previous videos about Tactical Arbitrage that once I learned the feature, I would come back and make a video for you guys. It's been a little while since that feature was released and I've been using it and I found some profitable products. So I wanted to come back and make this video so I could teach you guys how to make even more money while doing online arbitrage. If you're new here, my name is Tom with Pat the Billions. On this channel, I'm documenting my financial journey and taking you along so we could succeed together. My channel is currently focused on Amazon FBA. So if you're looking to grow or start on Amazon FBA, then you wanna make sure you subscribe because there's always more content like this. Let's jump right into it. Here we are on Tactical Arbitrage's dashboard and all you wanna do is go over here to the left hand menu and hit always be scanning. It'll then bring up this page over here. Now, if you have seen my other videos, specifically the one about the search results, this is exactly the same page, just with different results. The always be scanning feature on Tactical Arbitrage is a feature that is constantly looking through online stores for profitable products. The really nice thing is they say these results are individualized, meaning the results you'll see on your page are gonna be different from the ones you're gonna see on mine. So this is really good because you're gonna be less likely to run into competition from other people doing the same thing as you. One thing you wanna keep in mind is that these results are from a lot of different stores. So you can see Walmart, Kmart, Belk, and Book Depot, just to name a few. And what I do to make this easiest for myself is I actually go over here to Filter Manager. This brings up a ton of options to narrow down how much you're actually looking at at a given point. So some of the things I do to narrow down my results is one is source. So I would deselect all and then I would find target, let's say, and then I would just select that. So I would actually go individually by store and search through the stores you're used to looking for and then maybe check out some of the other ones. But this just makes it easier so you're not overwhelmed by the 3000 plus results you have total. Then down here for gross profit and gross ROI. This is again similar to my other videos where I mentioned my gross profit. I want anything over $2.40 per unit profit. I don't want anything less than that. Then my gross ROI, I usually stick about 40% or higher, but I put 30% just in case there's a little bit of discrepancy between the numbers. That way I don't miss anything. And that is it. I put my source, my gross profit, and my gross ROI, and that's all I use to narrow it down. So I'll go down here and hit apply. So you can use those filters to narrow it down even more than me, but I do prefer to do this because I'd rather go through the other pieces of the information manually. With Tats Garbage, the first thing I wanna do is just make sure the items I'm looking at is the same item that is on Amazon. So one of the very first things I do is the picture. So you can see, for instance, this picture is of a Purina dog chew. And then over here, it's a similar picture. You wanna make sure with this type of product that it's the same quantity within the packaging. So you can see on this one is 10 chew bones. And then over at Target, it is also a 10 count pouch. Next, you wanna look at the Amazon buy box, which is $32. And then you could buy it for 14 at Target. With my experience of using Tactic Arbitrage, one of the next things I'm gonna check is whether Target has it in stock because I find a ton of products that I can make a profit on but are never in stock at Target. So you can see here, it is in stock, which is good. You also get 25% off with Target Circle if you do in-store order pickup or same day delivery. So I could actually get this for even cheaper than the price they set. So now let's just check out Amazon's information to make sure this price is accurate. Open up the Amazon listing. And you can see right here that the listing is actually for $9.97 and Amazon is selling it. So this is definitely not a good product. So close these two. One of the other things you can do if you wanted to was refresh this. Maybe it was sold out by Amazon, it price went up and now it went back down. And you can see here the price went down. So we're gonna move on. It looks like this next product is a puzzle. You can see you get four in one puzzles. Go over here, check the picture. It looks like the same thing. So this is a four in one total of 2000 pieces. And you can see this is four puzzles with 500 pieces, pieces each. So again, check Target to make sure it's in stock. And as I was mentioning, it is sold out. You're gonna be running into that a lot, especially with Target. Next is a DVD, so I don't even bother because I can't sell DVDs. Next, you have an elephant head for your wall. Looks the same. You can buy it for $30, sell it for 55. Click on Target to see if it's in stock. Also sold out. Uh, skip the Bible. Looks like we have a carpet cleaner for pet urine 48 ounces this one's also 48 ounces no image so we'll have to click on it to check if it's the same product it looks like it is and it is actually available so then you can see over here amazon selling 54 dollars i doubt that's going to be accurate or it's just temporarily out of stock interesting enough the amazon image here 
is different than the Amazon image here. This actually has a pretty good sales rank even at $54, which is kind of crazy. So with this one, the main concern I have is most likely this is not the same product. Looks like the title is slightly different and the picture is different. So we're gonna move on to the next one. Next is a product I know I'm gated in. Next we have furniture, which you can't sell. Next we have some cat treats, 6.3 ounce pouch. Also 6.3 ounces, no image. Let's check if it's in stock. So this one is in stock. Next we wanna check Amazon. Currently selling for $35. So most likely this is gonna be a pack. It's a pack of 10 and 10 times 339 would be too much money. Close that one. Let me go ahead and check a couple more products on my own. And then I could show you a profitable product just to give you an idea what to look for. Unfortunately, this is the reality of doing online arbitrage. You're gonna swing and miss a lot, but you have to be willing to keep going in order to find those gems. So I'll go through the next couple pages when I find a profitable product, I'll come back to you guys and show you what I looked at and why I thought it was a good idea to buy that product. Not gonna lie, that actually took me a couple minutes to find the product to show you guys. At first I went to Walmart and checked out some of their products. Then I just narrowed it down to the entire toy category on Always Be Scanning. From there, I just dug through the list till I found a potential product. This product is extremely good, but there is a bit of a caveat, which I'll show you. So this one here, Marvel Spider-Man Mega City Playset. And you see at Kohl's it's the same thing, has the same picture. So then we go to Kohl's.com and you can see it's on clearance, but it's not available online. However, this product might be available in stores if you can find it in your area. As you can see, it's on clearance, so it's gonna be harder to find. You'd have to check down here at check other stores and then see if it is available in your area. Since this is a clearance product, you're only gonna be able to buy one or two if you can find them in your local store. So it's not a great find because you're very limited in how many you could buy, but the profit margins look great. Next, you wanna go to Amazon. You can see here, it's actually even higher. It's at 160 plus 23 shipping. So that's almost $175 for this product. So I don't even have to do the math on it. You're gonna make profit, but we could use Amazon's cal calculator that I was talking about earlier. And we'll pull that up. So even at $159.99, if you spend $20 because you have to include taxes, you're making $98 profit per item. Again, as I mentioned, the big caveat is, is you have to be able to find this in the local store since it's a clearance product, which probably isn't that likely, but at least you guys can see what I'm looking for when I look for products. So it has a profit, which is good. The next thing we wanna check is the sales history, because if it's a product that's only at $175 because Amazon's on the listing, but then when Amazon comes on and sells it, they sell it for 50 bucks, then you don't wanna sell it. So scroll down and you'll see Keepa. Now, the number one thing you could see is Amazon is not on this listing anywhere for the past three months. Amazon would be a, a gray box. If we expand it to a year, you could see this little part right here where Amazon was in stock for a short while. If we go back to three months, you can see it has a pretty good sales history. Every time this graph drops a little bit, that's a sale. So it's got plenty of sales. You can see the price actually going up over time. And most likely that's because this product is no longer manufactured. So if you can find it, congratulations, you found a really good product, but it is gonna be hard to find. The next thing you wanna to check too, is you also wanna check whether you can actually sell this. Since this is Marvel Spider-Man, a lot of people might not be able to sell this, but if we go over to Amazon, you type in the ASIN into add a product, you pull it up and you can see I can sell this product because I'm on gated in Marvel and Spider-Man and all that. You can see the sales rank here alone is 54,000. And the other thing I forgot to mention is if you go to Scout Calculator, it actually gives you an idea of how many sales a month, which is 104. So this would be an absolutely amazing product if you can find it in stock. The one final thing I will check is, as I said, going over to Inventory Lab and checking the research function. So here it is on the research function on Inventory Lab. Again, you can see your profit would be roughly $126 minus the roughly $20 you'd spend on this product. You're making 106 according to this instead of the 98 that Amazon Scout Calculator said. You can see the sales rank over here. You can see it's small oversize. You can see how much it weighs. So. I wish I could have showed you guys an actual product you'd go out and buy today, but the idea behind my videos is to teach a man how to fish and not to give him a fish. So hopefully this video gives you an idea how to use the always be scanning feature. You go on there, you could narrow down your results to stores or categories on Amazon, or use a number of the other filters to narrow down your results so you're not overwhelming yourself by looking through too many results at one time. Then from there, you just wanna go through and check the information. You wanna make sure it's in stock at the store you're gonna be buying it from. You wanna make sure the Amazon price is making sense over the long term. So if the price is $175, you wanna make sure that Amazon wasn't previously selling it three weeks ago for $75. Because as soon as Amazon comes back in stock, you lost. Once you've done all that and you made sure the sales history is good, you wanna then go on, double check all your numbers to make sure you're gonna make a healthy profit. 
And then congratulations, you found a product. And you could sit here and do this over and over again. As I showed you, Always Be Scanning ha currently has 3,697 results I could dig through. And I can narrow it down using those filter features to find all the best products. The other thing to keep in mind is this is constantly running in the background. So you're gonna constantly have new results to look through. If you guys want to learn even more about tactical arbitrage, I'm going to add this video to the playlist that I already have, which I'll put up here for you to click on. Since I was showing you a Marvel product and most of you guys probably are gated in Marvel currently, definitely check out this video down here about getting on gated on Amazon. If you found this video at all helpful, I always appreciate a thumbs up. It is helping my channel grow. Don't forget to subscribe as well, because as I mentioned, I am constantly putting on new content like this for you guys. And thanks for watching.